call this one the double dutch pour. Why? Because I did one there and I one there. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to be doing another attempt at the famous Dutch pour. Made famous by the Dutch artist, and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, Renske Dona. So, yes, anyways. Um, we are going to be using these colors. We're going to be layering them in small puddles. So we're going to then use our awesome hair dryer <laughs> to get the effect that we want so ladies and gentlemen sit back relax and enjoy here we go so we started with a base layer of white and we are going to I'm going to attempt to make two sets of ores at the same time well not at the same time but on the same on the same piece um, we got everybody's favorite blue, that phthalo blue. Oh, see, look at that. Random paint chip flying through the sky. We're just going to add a small puddle right there. Then we got some old gold, I believe the color was. And some, I think it was pronounced fuchsia. I don't know. Add more of these same colors. My puddles weren't big enough. Now for our second one, I'm going to go with a different combination of colors. We have a different shade of blue. Add some of this blue to this side as well. Just a touch of copper to this side. And 
now we pour the wax around it. Now it's gonna get a little noisy, but here we go. I do apologize for the sounds, even though I'm sure I'm going to edit that out. Let me, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This was kind of fun. It was a lot faster than I thought it would be. I'm not sure how it's going to dry since there's still a lot of white paint still on this board. So maybe I'll try to take some of it. No, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it, see what it turns into within the next hour, two hours, three hours, day. Okay, now I'm done. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the who knows how many times I've tried it attempt at a Dutch pour. Um, yeah, whatever. This one is by far the best. And I'm gonna be honest and say that the other ones look not appealing compared to this one. Let's get some close-ups. Sorry if my hand is not too steady. 
but yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I like how deep these colors are. And then they blend into this like almost faded pore over here. And then this one over here looks like an explosion of land and water. Yeah, anyway. The Dutch pour for beginners by a beginner. All right, I'm gonna hit it from a different angle just to make sure that the light isn't reflecting funny. Call this one the double Dutch pour. Why? Because I did one there and I want one there. Double. They're twins, kinda. Look at that. Just look at that. That's awesome. I love it. 